Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a bronze makeup tutorial. I cannot believe I went the whole summer without doing a bronze makeup tutorial. You guys already know I love bronze. We all love bronze looks, you know? So I wanted to spice it up a little bit with a really fun inner corner highlight. And I was really, really inspired by this makeup look that Makeup by Ariel did on Shea Mitchell. I just fell in love with this eye makeup and the lip color and everything. It's a bronze eye. He did more of like a wash of bronze over the lids and then almost I would say like a yellowy lime colored inner corner highlight with obviously a very dramatic wing. I was really inspired by this look but I kind of wanted to add my own twist to the look as well so this is what I came up with. So if you are excited for this video then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe before we hop in and there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So I'm gonna start off with this new product. I'm testing it out right now. So it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. This is a radiant protective veil. What I think is cool about it is that it's actually supposed to protect your skin from all forms of UV um, radiation, even like blue light. So that is basically what comes out of like laptops, cell phones, stuff like that, stuff that I'm on all the time, so. Wouldn't that be crazy if you actually got skin damage from your cell phone? It's not that crazy because it happens. So I just thought this was cool to kind of protect your skin even further. But on top of that, when I have been using it and testing it out, it actually makes such a great base for my makeup. So it's kind of like the primer to my primer. That's how I've been using it. And it makes my skin look so much smoother than it does in real life. <laughs> We are protected now, so I'm gonna go in with my primer, and I'm gonna be using the Catrice Cosmetics Light Correcting Serum Primer in the shade Sunlight. So this tutorial, I really want to be super glowy, super bronzy. It's gonna be a whole vibe. This is my first bronze makeup tutorial of the year. Like, I didn't do one over the summer, which is crazy, because normally I would. This primer, even though it goes on very light, it actually leaves your face super tacky, so that is good because then foundation and concealer and everything you're gonna put on top will actually stick down to it, but it gives you almost like, I would say like a metallic glow. We're gonna do brows really quickly. I've been doing the easiest brow routine, you guys. I've honestly only been filling in like this bottom section and then brushing everything up, and I just find that that creates the prettiest full but natural looking brows for me, so I've really, really been liking doing this. And today I'm using the Lancome Brow Define Pencil in Dark Brown. I do find that this technique has been working better with pencils, generally speaking. So next up, um, I'm gonna be trying out the new Benefit Brow Con Contour Pro, and I'm just gonna try out the uh, definer. You can see I already started, but I th do think this is a pretty cool concept because in this pencil, you get a darker shade, a lighter shade, a highlighter, and a definer. And it's pretty cool because it's like the pens that we had when we were kids, you know, that kind of you could get different colors. And I'm gonna use that to really define the brow bone. I'm just gonna blend that out with a little toothbrush brush. Ooh, look at that line. You always want to go in with brow gel as well. So this is actually my favorite one, the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I love the wand, it's very thin and the bristles are really easy to like lock onto your hairs and just brush them up, but it doesn't add fibers or thickness. That's something that I don't really like in my brow gels. All right, so next up, I'm gonna use the Iconic London Prep, Set, and Glow. This is another product, actually, that I've been testing out. I feel like I have a lot of new products or products that I've been testing out in this tutorial just because I've been trying a lot of new products lately. So this is one of them, like I said, and I'm gonna use this actually to prep the skin underneath the foundation. It leaves you with a really nice, like, radiant glow, and I feel like it does definitely make a difference in the finished look because you have that glow underneath as your base. It really takes a while to dry, though. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, my skin is, like, terrible these days. Actually, it was getting a lot better, but you know what the problem was? I picked at it, and somebody once told me that when you pick at your skin, bacteria actually transfers through like your veins and will go to other parts of your face causing more breakouts. 
So don't pick at your skin, kids. But anyways, for foundation, we need full coverage because of these breakouts going on right now. So I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. This is such a OG foundation for me. It's kind of like one of those foundations that I always turn to and I know that it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna go in and apply that with my Sigma 3D HD Mask Kabuki. This one's nice because it actually has a really big surface area on it. It can apply the foundation quickly and then I'll usually go back in with a blender and just kind of do the finishing touches and make sure it looks super flawless with my blender. Make sure it's pounced into the skin nicely. This is actually a really good way to get extra, extra coverage if you are having breakouts or if you have discoloration that you want to cover because you're doing it in thin layers so it's never gonna look cakey. Each layer is going to lay on top of the previous layer, very thin and flat. So we are going to let the foundation sit a little bit and I know that the coloring looks slightly off but don't worry. Once we're done, it's gonna look good to go. And I do feel like this foundation does oxidize a little bit in the sense of it somehow, like whenever I apply it, I know that it looks a little crazy and then it tends to like neutralize out. So don't come for me. Don't at me for this discoloration right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to make a thin layer and you just want to set that down with a face powder. So this has been one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes lately, especially for bronze looks. You can see why. Warm, toasty, bronze, really, really pretty palette. Great formulas too. So this is from Melt Cosmetics and it's the 27 palette. So I today don't want it to be too warm, I don't think. I'm gonna start off with the shade Naked Sleep, first off. It is on the warm side, but it's a little bit more neutral, I would say. So I'm gonna start off with that in the crease on a Sigma Diffuse Crease E38. Ugh, this is like my perfect transition shade. It is so, so pretty. If you just like to do like warm tones or bronze looks in general, it's such a nice palette. Mm. So in the picture, Shay's makeup, is a little bit more just like a wash of bronze. I'm gonna do my own little twist and do slightly more of a defined look, but definitely still this vibe, because I really, really liked this, that makeup look. It was so pretty when I saw it. Like, you know when you have to do a double take, you're like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and then you're like, whoa. Hold up. Next up, I'm gonna take this shade right here that's called Thick and place that into the crease on a slightly smaller brush. So this is the Sigma Blending E25. You can see it has a really, really thin, precise shape to the bristles. So this is gonna give us that precision that we need to get a defined crease going. This is actually one of my favorite brushes to use for this step because it just gets the crease going really, really nicely and then you can go in and blend it out afterwards if you need it to be slightly more diffused, but just packing on that color is really important because it's easier to diffuse it out afterwards rather than have to continue to work and work and work to get it on there. Then I'm taking that E38 that we used before and just kind of pressing the pigment up to diffuse that line. Then you actually also want to take a deep brown on the exact same brush. And I'm using the Soft Glam palette for this step, the Cypress Umber shade right here, but you could use any deep brown that you have on hand, honestly, because you're just gonna do the exact same thing and deepen up this outer corner and use the point of the brush to again create that almost cut crease shape. I'm telling you, this brush is bomb. Since we've already kind of diffused the other color up, it starts to create a beautiful gradient and it's super easy to do. I think I am gonna go in with a little bit of that soft ochre paint pot and just define the bottom section a little bit more. I actually didn't know like exactly where I was gonna take this look. I just knew that I wanted it to be inspired by the work that Makeup by Ariel did. So we're going a little bit of a different direction. So I'm taking soft ochre on a flat brush. This is the concealer F75 from Sigma. And I'm just gonna create a more defined cut crease. I know this is really bad to do, but sometimes I need to flatten out my eyelid in order to get that crease. And boom, we got a fine crease going on. Now, I wanna go in with a really 
pigmented and buttery gold shade. And again, um, you can use anything that you have on hand. For me, this is what I'm going to be using. It's one of my favorite golds to use. So it's from Joseph Colors and it's their Block Party Eyeshadow. And it is in the shade Heart of Gold. These have an amazing, amazing formula. Like they feel so nice on the skin and they almost have like reflex in them that make them even more, mm, you know, they make them have a little more oomph to them than like your typical gold shadow. It almost, I would say, is like a mix between a cream and a metallic shadow. So it's a really, really, really nice formula. So I'm gonna take that on the same brush, but I'm gonna spray it with my setting spray. Ugh. I can't wait for this, you guys. And I'm just gonna go right in. It's getting real nice and bronze up here. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and then also add on some mascara. This looks so pretty with the background. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. You don't wanna do this after you've already applied your lashes because then it will get on the lashes and then your lashes won't last as long. Like I am able to use my lashes so many times and make them so worth the money. I don't usually get mascara on them and I, take really good care of them. Like I always put them back into the box so that they maintain their shape. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some lashes now. And these are House of Lashes Iconic. I already prepped them with my glue so that I would just be ready to go. Cause you do have to wait until it gets tacky so that you can put your lashes on with ease. And then for the underlining area, I'm gonna use the Sigma Beauty Longwear Eyeliner Pencil. This is actually my favorite to use for this step because it is a twist up one. So you don't have to like worry about sharpening it, which I find is really important for this underneath part, just because if it's not sharp and you get that wood chip in your eye, it is not fun. Ooh bronze and kind of smoky actually. That's where it's going. Okay, so we are kind of done with the upper eye area. I'm gonna move back to the face, finish that off, and then we'll almost be done. So I'm gonna go in and brighten up my under eye area with the Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Brightener. You just wanna do a thin layer right where those divots are, if you have those like I do. This has still been my favorite brightening product just because it's a little thicker than most of the others that I've tried. So it really does kind of like fill in that area and almost work to flatten things out while color correcting. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. One of my all-time faves. I'm just gonna go down the middle of the face. You guys know concealer by now. Then I'm gonna go in and set the under eyes with my Lancome um, Long Time No Shine Loose Setting and Mattifying Powder. And I'm actually going to apply it with the little puff. I went to a master class with Laura Mercier and Makeup by Mario, and he did this actually. He was baking with a puff. So we're gonna try it out today. It looked really pretty when he did it. And I have never done this before because I always usually use a sponge. So this will be interesting to see if this works for me. I feel like it definitely packs on that powder nicely. So I used that matte setting powder underneath the eyes, but for the rest of the face, Mario actually used a new product from Laura Mercier. So this is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. So it actually has some radiance in it. So I'm actually gonna try it out again in this video and use the same method, a little puff here. And this one, he was kind of like rolling into the cheeks or actually the face in general. So he did not recommend using it underneath the eyes. So that's why I went in with something that was matte under there. You just wanna wipe all of that away. See what I was saying? It neutralizes out. We are good, we're Gucci. So we're gonna add some bronze, add some warmth back into the face. Whoop. This is from Ofer Cosmetics and it's called the On The Glow Palette. So I'm gonna take this guy up here, which is their Americano bronzer. That's the shade name. And I'm gonna use that to warm up the face. Ooh, that has a really nice undertone to it. And I love the effect of that Laura Mercier powder because it already gave us like this almost like all over sheen to the skin, even though it's set. I'm just gonna add on some contour to the nose using my face powder from MAC. This is the Studio Fix in NC43. The best way to add contour to your nose because it just looks so natural. All natural, baby. We are actually gonna add on a little bit more glow because I want to feel like a bronze goddess after this look, okay? 
that's what I'm going for. So I am gonna be using the Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. This is actually a highlighter, but it's a very light highlighter because it is a mineral product. We're gonna take that on a super fluffy brush. You wanna use a brush that has this kind of bristle movement to it, just super fluffy, super flexible. This is the MAC 137S. And I'm gonna lightly dust over the product and then go in and dust over the areas that we put our bronzer down. And this is gonna give us, again, that beautiful all over glow. We already started with the Laura Mercier product, but we are just really taking it up a notch in this tutorial. Once we're looking bronzed and beautiful, I'm actually gonna go in with my actual highlighter. So this is the beaming part that we're gonna place right on the tip of the cheekbone and then blend backwards. So I'm gonna try out this one. This is from the JLo and Inglot collection and it's called Live in the Highlight. Oh, this looks like it's going to be so pretty. I'm honestly so excited right now. And because we already have that base down of all those sheer highlights, this we can just really deposit right onto the high points of the face. And then I like to kind of wipe off my brush because we already have those sheer ones down and then kind of blend backwards. Because we do not want like a stripe of highlight, we just want to blind someone right from the cheekbone. <laughs> you can even take that fluffy brush and kind of whisk over it so that it all blends together really nicely too. You don't want too much because this is a very, very blinding highlight, but I'm going to take just a little bit to match the other high points of the face. But again, you really want to wipe off your brush and just use whatever's left because you don't want to add too much to that area actually. The chin on the other hand, you guys know I love a good chin highlight. So we're gonna go down there, up here, and just the tiniest bit right in the middle of the nose, and then use your finger to blend it up and down. I don't like to apply too much glittery highlight or shimmery highlight even to the nose because I don't want it to look like I have just like a line of shimmer or highlight or whatever you wanna call it. You guys, I almost forgot my the most exciting part of this whole tutorial and the reason why that picture inspired me so much is because of this inner corner highlight. Ugh, I died when I saw that, honestly. It's so, so beautiful. I think I'm gonna go with green because I am feeling it. I want something bright to just kind of tie it together. Obviously, you don't have to do this step. You could totally just use a normal inner corner highlight or even like the highlight that you used on your cheekbone, but I just wanna switch it up, okay? I'm gonna clean off my brush first, just so that, this is a really good cleanser, by the way. I uh, put it into like a, just a travel size, but it's the Cinema Secrets Instant Brush Cleaner, I believe it's called. I'll link it down below for you guys with all the other products because it's a really good one if you are on sets or if you're a working makeup artist to just be able to clean off your brushes super quick or if you just like to play with a lot of different colors and you don't want the colors to mix together. Really, really good product because look how clean it is now. Okay. Let's dig into my little bag of pigments. <gasps> I'm so excited for this. I'm debating between these three pigments. I definitely want a green tone. This one is old gold, and then I have chartreuse and golden olive. Maybe I'll mix together these two, because I want it to be like neon green. Ooh. The only thing about pigments is that I'm so clumsy that I always spill everything out, and it's not fun to clean up but I love MAC pigments, honestly. Again, I like to take it and mix the product on the back of my hand just so I know what I'm getting into so I don't mess up what I've done so far. Ooh, this is gonna be really pretty, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Got a little bit of chartreuse, a little bit of old gold. Pack those together to create a unique shade. And then you definitely want to go in and clean your brush off again if you do what I just did and try to create your own shade. But if I ever come out with a palette, mark my words, there will be a beautiful neon green. Yes, honey, it's coming together. I'm just gonna take a different brush and kind of blend this out a little bit better. Really, really like this green shade, actually. So I might go in with a little bit more. There you go, we got that green on there. I'm really, really liking how is this turning out? It's so, so pretty. Would I go to the grocery store like this? Yes. Would I go to the post office like this? Yes. Would I go to the gas station like this? Yes. Would I go to the movie theater like this? Yes, because no one will even see you in the movie theater. Sometimes I go to the movie theater, like most of the time actually, I go to the movie theater literally, no makeup, sweatpants, hair in a bun. No one's gonna see you. You're good. This just turns into another hack video. I'm gonna go in and just smoke out this bottom lash line a little bit. And I'm using a scone smoky brush. I just wanna connect it. 
And I think I am gonna add just a slight bit of liner. I'm gonna use this one, Roach from Urban Decay. It's a nice bronzy liner. So I'm gonna use that just to line the waterline. Boom. I'm gonna add on a little bit of Warm Soul Blush so you can see that all of the face products that I've been using have this sort of sheen to them. That is going to give us a continuous all over glow. And I kind of use this to blend out that highlighter just a little bit more as well. It's super subtle, especially for my skin tone. If you are a little bit more fair, then this will actually show up more. But for me, for my skin tone, it's just very, very subtle. Moving on to the lips. For lip liner, I'm using my teeny weeny <laughs> MAC lip pencil in Stripped Down. This is my favorite lip pencil, as you can tell. It's really, really nice for any nude, honestly. You know I love those brown nudes, so this is like the perfect brown lip liner. Then for my lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop Collaboration Quickie Lipstick. It's a really, really nice nude. Has a bit more of a peachy undertone, but it pairs so nicely with Stripped Down, honestly. You can kinda use it to like blend out the lip liner too. And then we have to add a gloss on to really get that glow going. So this is another product from the JLo and Inglot collection. It's the gloss in Goldie Lips. That is so pretty. And last step. Urban Decay All Nighter. I've been obsessed with this stuff. Really does make your makeup last all day long. It's like insane. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished look. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. I had a lot of fun with it. Even though it is a bronze look, I feel like you can still get kind of creative with bronze looks and honestly, I live for this inner corner highlight. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you have any requests um, or maybe even other celebrity inspired looks. Anything you guys wanna see, comment down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do wanna be subscribed to my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, we're rolling. Eh. <laughs> Getting crunchy schmunchy over here. I think this is um, the best I've ever looked. So. Oh, then I'm gonna use this. Wow. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs>